find them, but I'm not telling you to go to the gutter and find somebody sleeping under a tree or someone standing in the shadows with a knife in his or her pocket. To <laughs> pick your people carefully. <laughs> but let's say you pick someone in the library or in Building 23 and talk to them. You say, I'm going to do a speech on changing a hard drive. Would you mind looking at my outline? <coughs> They'll probably do it. You'll find out every quarter people say, when they fill out this form, well, it wasn't as bad as I thought. And by speech five or speech six, they're saying, this isn't, this isn't any big deal. It was sort of fun meeting someone. That will eventually happen. But if you're doing something technical like this for speech two, and meet someone in building 23 and show them your outline, they might say, what, what is a motherboard anyway? And then you think, well, everybody knows that, but not everybody does know it. So you might have to revise what you've planned in order to be more effective with your, with your outline, with your audience. Now, I could share time. We don't have a lot of time here. I could share with you samples of interview sheets that people have completed in the past with interesting people. There's one woman who did her speech on making snickerdoodles which you would think is probably not a very complicated thing, I guess. But she went to a bakery where she actually demonstrated her speech in front of the people at the, snicker do at, at the bakery. She got very high marks from the woman at the bakery. Let me go over this, speaking of high marks, because this is a form that you fill out, but not just you. As you'll notice on the front, you have it with you there. Your topic is there and your name is there. The person you interview is going to rate you on these various categories. So were you polite and courteous? Did you explain why you were there? Were your questions clear and so forth? The reason for this is that I want you to give some thought to how you prepare for your interview so that it is a pleasant experience and an informative experience for you, but also is pleasant for the person you interview. If I go back to here and go to Angel. There is a section here, number three, under course resources. It says interviewing people to help prepare for a speech. It has hints on conducting interviews. Then when you go to lessons, I believe there is a Interviews. There's a file here that says interviews. How to plan and conduct encounters with strangers to prepare for your speeches. If you open that, you'll see that there is a section on students read this first, interview form, sample completed interview and related memento, and a subsidiary positive outgoes of community interviews. But that's a fun video for you to watch. I think. So it's all there. It, all ex it explains to you how to make this, I hope, worthwhile for you. All right, so you're going to do that. They put their name and their phone number if they want to. Every so often, people will ask me in class, how do you know, Dr. Venditti, that I didn't forge this and just make up the person? The answer is, I don't know, but I trust your integrity. An answer, yes? How do you get on the nerve or, like, like just go out to somebody you don't even know just how do you get the nerve to do that? Well, let's, let's think big again. Or let's think a little bit smaller than really big. Fear of rejection is what yes. I'm saying. Yes. How many of you have talked to Elaine Holster in the library? Okay. How many of you have not talked to Elaine Holster? I don't know who it is. She's a librarian. She's one of the two yeah. professional librarians. Okay. How many of you have talked to Doug Ammons? Okay. How many of you have not? Okay. All right. So keep in mind, CC, there are professionals out in the world who are paid to help students do things like this. They are strangers in the sense that you don't know you don't know them, but they could certainly help you with new information, couldn't they? Okay. Yes. Now, when you talk about the check things out part, you're in. Are you in any other classes besides this one? Yes. Do you know everyone in those other classes? No. No. Are you? Comfortable enough with any of them to approach them before or after class? No. Not yet. Okay. So you can 
you get to pick whom you're going to interview. Pick someone who is safe, who can help you with new information if possible, and preferably someone who is paid to do things like this. Our college is full of employees who want you to succeed and who are not going to be upset if you approach them politely and courteously and explain things to them. So I don't want this to be a frightening or a disrupting kind of experience. I want it to be useful. Okay, then on the back, <coughs> it's best that you think about the questions you're going to ask in advance. Sometimes students ask, well, what, what kind of question am I going to ask them? It all depends on what you need to find out, what you want to find out. If you're trying to get new information, then you need to look at your outline and what you've already done in your research and find something that you're curious about. Now maybe you're going to demonstrate how to pump up tires on a bicycle or on a car. And you realize that today, in today's world, there is a trend to fill tires with nitrogen instead of with air. Regular air, okay? So there you might decide, well, I'm going to go to Costco and interview one of the guys, I don't think there are women there, uh, one of the guys who puts air in the tires. So you ask them, why do you use nitrogen instead of regular air? And they'll explain that to you. So you can get the information there, but you need to go to Costco with the questions in mind, <coughs> rather than just walking in and saying, well, I'm, I'm in a speech class and i got to do an interview. Okay? So do some planning. Then, how, how did you first contact the person? Was it by phone? Did you go and see them? Did you send them an email message? Depends on who it is. Right? Then, how did they respond? I'm interested in that. Depending upon how you approach them, they might, usually, people will write, they were a little bit surprised, or they were shocked. Occasionally, at great intervals, people will say they were hostile or they were mean. That doesn't happen very often. So don't pick anybody who you think is going to be hostile or mean. Then, where did you conduct your interview and why did you choose that location? You might decide to do it in a grocery store, or in a Starbucks, or in Building 23, or in the library. That's up to you, but I'm interested. Why did you do that? This is critical thinking. How did your interviewee help you prepare for your presentation? If you choose the right interviewee and the right questions, they ought to help you. If you don't, then they may have nothing to say that will help you at all. So you can write that down. But in my view, you can choose people and choose questions that will elicit helpful information. What might have made the interview better? And what was the most important thing you learned from the experience? Okay. Because this is meant to be, among other things, well, I'm asking you to do this for a couple of reasons. One is, well, several reasons. One is I think you'll make better speeches. Well, I've seen that in the past. It give, another is it gives you more confidence about your speech. And another is it can give you more confidence about meeting people which is a skill that all of us can benefit from in our lives, right? Mm -hmm. Questions about the interview process? All right, so now you know about all five ingredients of all your future speeches. You're gonna keep thinking and keep writing. A couple of people have sent me emails with outlines for speech two. Uh, not in your class. Uh, maybe Jamie, did you? No, someone in another class. She's going to demonstrate how to do lunges. Yeah. Uh, if you would like to share your outline, we have until next Monday. Remember. But when we hit next Monday, it's going to be bam, bam, bam. Speaking of which, we need to draw our pennies to find out who's going to be bam, 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 bam first. You can go ahead and turn that off.